Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Goalie here. Welcome back to some more epic Polytopia gameplay. You already know what time it is. It's time for a random match. We'll go for a lakes map. I don't know why, but I got this idea while I was in the bathtub. I was like, hey, it's summer. Let's play Omaji. Now, all of the Omaji mains are going to break into one collective yell whenever I'm going to say this, but Omaji ain't the best tribe, but we'll try and make it work. Okay, here we are. We're vibing. Where do we want to move? There's fruit here, but I don't know when I'm going to end up getting organization. Probably go hunting first because there's two animals here. So that'll let me level up my capital. Uh, I guess we'll just move here. Okay, there's a village. Let's train a warrior? We'll just go for a warrior for now. Kind of want to try and save our stars a little bit. Just because Omaji early game economy, it's a little, uh, a little spicy and not in a good way. We'll just scoot onto this village. I guess move this warrior there. Sure. I forgot to check how many points they had on turn zero. That could have helped me figure out what tribe they were playing. We need to research a tech. Well, I mean, we don't need to, but if we capture this village, our tech price is going to go up. I'm actually going to go ahead and take organization. That'll let us level up this city. Realistically, there might be some more fruit for this city down here rather than wild animals. So yeah, uh, we've also revealed a bunch of farmland. That's something to make note of. Okay, put you on that fruit. There's a village. Very nice. Let's level up this city. We'll grab workshop. I kind of want to put this rider right here so that next term I can put him there and that'll reveal more than just putting him there and then, you know, yeah, let's do it. Okay, looks like the land juts out this way. So that's something. Still don't know what tribe he is. That's a little concerning. Let's get two more warriors. I'm actually going to put this rider here. Okay, there's a village. End our turn. These forests and mountains are in very inopportune spots for our riders. That's going to slow us down a bit, unfortunately. Okay, this guy's playing pretty quick, actually. That makes me think he might got some, some skill, or maybe he's just not thinking, you know? Both are options. I kind of want to grab farming. It's eight stars. Would it be smart to wait to capture this village and then grab farming? Well, let's see. If I capture this city, the tech price for this is going to go up by two stars. But I'll capture it and level it up. That's just going to counteract it. All right, let's go ahead and grab farming. Move this guy. We'll take this city. And you can do some exploring too. What tribe is this guy? Is he also a Maji? I feel like we would have seen some different nature by now. There's a village. Okay, we'll end our turn. What is going on? What tribe is this guy? What the heck? Where's he even at? Is he down here? I think a uh, capital placement changed a little bit in the last update, if I remember right. Okay, well, we'll level up that city, take resources, and I guess level up this one. I'm going to take an explorer just to see if it reveals anything. What the heck? This is so weird. He has to be down here somewhere then. I was expecting him to be in, like, this area. Very interesting terrain generation. Like, what's going on here? Still no sign of him. There he is. He is Omaji. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Omaji mirror match. Wasn't expecting to do that. Let's just keep grooving with our economy here. We'll level up our capital, take workshop, and I guess more units. Very perplexing to say the least. Hello. I'm wondering if we could siege whatever city he has here if we just get roads. Oh, it's 14 stars. That'd let us build one road. That wouldn't be enough. I suppose roads still wouldn't be a bad tech to get, but I, I kind of want to prioritize our economy a little bit more. Well, realistically, it's probably fine for now. <laughs> okay, what's going on over here? If he has a rider here, we can siege. That's a warrior. Well, we got fishing from him. We'll have our riders here ready to kill his warrior whenever he moves it forward or something. I'm guessing he's just going to put his rider up here, kill my warrior, and then, you know, put this guy wherever. And there he goes. Come on, put your warrior forward. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, he actually left it there. Okay, smart move, smart move. We'll scoot onto that ruin. Oh. Hello. I wasn't expecting that. Let's do some, some fun economy stuff right here. We'll train a rider here and a warrior here. And we will call that a day. 23 stars per turn by turn 10. You know, as a Maji, I'll take it. Let's see, how do we want to get our giant? I mean, 15 stars, we can get one here easy. We can also road some stuff and get our network monument. 
and then just plop it in our capital. Oh, he's Rodan. Okay, go hit my rider, whatever. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. Fine, be that way. Okay, this guy, you know, fair play, sir, fair play. Okay, first and foremost, I'm just going to road this rider right here. That way, this ruin has no chance of giving us, a, giving us an explorer. I'm hoping for a giant. That'd be pretty cool. Defenders. Okay, well, we have that now. Honestly, I would have rather taken the explorer. This guy kind of seems like he knows what he's doing here. Let's get some vision. Hey, bud. Do we want to go for the giant? I think it'll be worth it. We'll also get a monument that we can use. We have the giant and the metropolis monument. Okay, we can just end our turn, I guess. Honestly, we could get border growth here and like get sailing or something. We'll have this rider kill that rider and we'll move him onto this forest. Train a warrior here. Have this warrior go there and hit the rider. And then we're just going to slide our giant forward. Let's put it right here. Okay. And now, do a little bit of road action. Those will connect. I'm going to harvest that fruit and put our Park of Fortune right there. We have 15 stars. What's this ruin give us? Okay, we now have 25 stars. I'm just going to train a warrior here just in case the man gets sailing and he can literally just walk right into that city with a boat. You never know. Just a little insurance. So we know he has at least three cities. In reality, it's probably more than that. Get you back onto that road and you can kill. Realistically, I could have put this rider like here to block off anything he might unsiege with. That might have been smarter. I'm going to put that warrior there just to, you know, get a bit of a buffer between us and him. We have 41 stars. That's a lot. And we get sailing from the ruin. It's meant to be. We'll just port here. Warrior there. As for over here, this is going to be kind of a waste. I'm going to port and then farm and take border growth. Then we'll just port there and train a defender. Let's end our turn. He breaks the siege, but it's no biggie because we got a giant ready to walk in. Unless he giant pushes or something. Send in our boy and get these warriors crack a lack and I guess. And then I'm also just going to like road this to our capital. That'll have that level up for resources. Another road there, why not? There's our network monument. Alright, this boat can drop there. And we're just going to start boat spamming a little bit. And that should prove to be pretty lucrative for us. Tell you what, let's put a port there. That'll give us a giant. And then we put you in a boat too. I wonder if he's going for knights. That would be pretty effective. Realistically, everything here can be one shot except for the giant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm not too concerned though. This guy ain't half bad. I'll give it to him. Let's take this city. And we also got to sort this out up here. We'll just take out the rider and then the riders can handle the night. Let the boat spam commence. Hey, there's a village. Hey, there's another village. Can we get a giant here? We have our monument. No, we'd be one short. But we can just put a port down. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Another giant here, right? And look at that push. Right in the direction we wanted him to go. Alrighty, that's all said and done. He's vibing a little bit. That's nothing we can't handle, though. Ain't that right, gamers? He's got a giant of his own. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's just road these boys forward. Hello. Okay, he's got two giants of his own. That's his capital as well. Intriguing. Do we want navigation? 28 stars. I mean, I don't really think we need it. Oh. Well, that... Answers that question then. I guess we don't need navigation because we won. Okay, well, let me finish off the AI real quick. Well, the AI literally just left the capital open, so we just walked in. Well, mm, there we go. Well, that is the game, my friends. I'm kind of sad that that guy resigned. He was playing really well. I gotta give it to him. Props to him. You know, I could tell everything he was doing had like a purpose behind it, you know? What were the odds of us both playing Omaji? I never play Omaji on multiplayer games. This was just like, mm, hey, let's try it. And uh, yeah, he also happened to do it.
All right, well, that's going to wrap up this episode of Polytopia. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more Polytopia gameplay and stuff like that. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.